Hello my beautiful people, I hope you all doing well today. Welcome to my channel, I'm Lifestyle Gardener. Finally, I can upload this video and let you guys see how I prepare the mustard green and bok choy. So right now, I am preparing some tofu. I'll show you a tip that I do when I buy to tofu from the grocery store. I normally cut up them in cubes like this and I take the tofu water I put it in a glass bottle and then I will put a tablespoon of salt in the glass bottle and whatever tofu I don't use I store the tofu in the glass bottle with the water and the salt in the fridge and it helps uh, give tofu a flavor because you know you guys tofu by itself doesn't have any flavor so by doing this it helps marinate it a little bit more a little bit until you're ready to put other seasoning so I am preparing the tofu by sprinkling some seasoning to it I'm gonna keep it simple so you can watch the rest of the video while I show you how I decide to prepare my bok choy and mustard green. This is not an instruction video. This is just me being spontaneous. Wow, you guys, you guys got to try this seasoning. This is um, homemade vegan chicken seasoned flavor. I made it myself. This season remind me of when I used to eat uh, ra ramen uh, chicken flavor noodles uh, with a hint of rosemary. 
the younger different there's no um rosemary flavor in the rama and chicken flavor um noodles but it kind of remind me of that so i decide to use it uh sauteed the vegetables and the tofu with it i promise you all i will make a video of how i make the seasoning mix it's really wicked when you make noodles with it i am sure you that most people will like it so um when i find time i will make a video of how i made that side note this uh seasoning mix you mix it with other seasoning or you can use it alone but it complement any other season that you're gonna put it with You guys can notice that I don't cook with a lot of oil. I find when I eat too much um, greasy food or too much food with oil, it um, I get indigestion. So that's one of the reasons why I don't cook with a lot of oil most of the time. Recently, by accident, I learned a new way of cooking potatoes if I want to make mashed potatoes with them. I don't need to put a lot of water. All I do, I just use about half a cup of water in the instant pot and I press the, the steam setting and cook it for 20 minutes and the potatoes come up perfectly. And if I don't want to strain the water, I don't have to. And the potatoes will come out the way I like it to come out when I make mashed potatoes.
Oh, let me tell you guys a little secret. Even though I use the vegan mayonnaise, I also put a little bit of uh, black salt also inside. For those of you that don't know what black salt is, it's some sort, some sort of salt that have a smell and flavor of egg. So I put it inside with the mashed potato and the vegan mayonnaise and it helps give it a nicer flavor. So this is the cranberry syrup. I don't remember how long ago I made this. I think two weeks ago. I put about two tablespoons of that with my sparkling water. And I really enjoy it. It really gives the sparkling water a nice flavor. So this is what it looks like. I don't think you guys can see it that good. Fortunately, the light is not that great in here. I have to work with what I have. So, this is what everything look like. I taste the tofu. You take on the flavor. 
of the seasoning that I put inside. And the sweet sweet potato, purple sweet potato. What I like about the purple sweet potato, it's not sweet at all. It just have a nice flavor. You don't need to put much um, ingredients, much season on it. And the mashed potato. Mm. It tastes a little hint of the garlic. And the mayonnaise, vegan mayonnaise, it tastes really good. And the okra. Tastes really good. Everything turned out good. This wasn't a recipe guide on how to cook all of this this is just um, my spontaneous cooking but I wanted you guys to see how I decided to to cook my first um, harvest of bok choy from the garden and my first harvest for the year actually and now you guys have a good day I'll talk to you another day